topic for today is about the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of conditional statements. So, noong Tuesday, we have discussed conditional statements in its if-then form. Kung saan, um, ang if natin, ang considered na hypothesis, or yung if clause, yung hypothesis, and then yung then clause, yun yung conclusion. Nasa if yung ating independent variable, and then nasa then clause yung ating dependent variable. And on that day, tayo po ay nagkaroon ng um, learning task about um, how to find the hypothesis and then the conclusion. So, yun po ay 1 to 30 actually. 30 points po yun. Um, 10 statements sa hanapin ang hypothesis conclusion. 20 points na po agad yun. And then, 10 points po dun sa true or false or truth value nung ating um, statement. So, dun sa if or hypothesis po, hanapin lang yung clue word na if. Then, dun sa conclusion, hanapin lang yung word na then. Then, for the truth value, kapag po wala ng contra, uh, counter example na naiisip doon sa statement, ibig sabihin, true yung ating statement. Pero pag mayroon pa tayong nahanap na counter example, um, false po yung ating given conditional statement. Then, kahapon, we have also discussed about the Venn diagram and also how to form the if-then form kung hindi pa siya naka-if-then form. Ano po? So, how to transform a conditional statement into its if-then form, um, una natin ginagawa is to look for the hypothesis and then the conclusion. Then, pag nahanap na natin yun, nakapag-construct na tayo ng maayos na sentence about that, um, saka natin lalagyan ng word na if at saka ng then para mabuo yung if-then form niya. Also, dun sa Venn diagram, ganun din po. You just have to remember that the inner oval um, has the hypothesis or nandun yung ating hypothesis and then the outer oval nandun naman po yung conclusion. Okay. Now, ngayon po ay converse, inverse, and contrapositive na po tayo. So, nandun pa rin yung if-then natin. Yun nga lang, meron pa siyang another forms. Okay. And ibig sabihin nun, possible din po na magbago rin yung kanyang meaning. So, for today's discussion, our lesson objectives are the following. First is identify the hypothesis and conclusion uh, at the given conditional statements and transform conditional statements in its converse, inverse, and contrapositive form. So, bago natin magawa yun, kailangan muna nating malaman ano ba ang hypothesis and conclusion. Again, you can use uh, terms or you can um, form the hypothesis and conclusion na mas maayos yung ating sentence. Ano po? Then, to transform, ano nga po ba ang kalalabasan kapag converse, kapag inverse, and kapag contrapositive? Okay, when we say converse, ito po yung magiging formation niya. Di po ba ang ating if-then form is that if P, then Q. Now, sa converse po, magkakapalit ang hypothesis at ang conclusion. Pakitandaan po yan. Converse, meron tayong interchanging. Yes, Miss Fernandez? Mamula po. Ah, okay po. Okay po. Okay po. Sige po. Okay po. Tandaan po, kapag inverse ay um, we interchange the hypothesis and then the conclusion. Then for the inverse, so wala po tayong naganap na interchanging. Ang nadagdag po ay yung word na not. So, in-negate natin or gagawin natin negative or opposite of that hypothesis. So, pag sinabing, if you are tall, ano ba ang kabaligtara ng tall? Eh, di is small. So, pwede po yun. Or pwede natin sabihin na not tall. Pero mas maganda is yung opposite na talaga niya agad. So, if not P, then not Q. Ano po? So, nadagdagan lang ng not. And then, for the contrapositive, ang nandito po is that if not Q, then not P. Kung mapapansin nyo po, negative siya nung ating converse or um, converse na siya or nagpalit na yung Q and P na dagdagan pa ng not. So, yan yung mga kailangan nating tandaan. So, you can screen capture or screenshot this portion po muna para mamaya kapag nag-learning task tayo, mabalikan nyo or sa bagay, magpo-post mag naman po ako ng materials pero mukhang within this discussion po ay eh, magagawa na rin natin yung learning task ninyo. So, tandaan po ulit Kapag converse, we interchange the hypothesis and conclusion. So, 
importante na alam natin ang hypothesis at conclusion. So, interchanging. And then, inverse, we did not interchange but we negate the hypothesis and conclusion. Opposite of the term, um, antonym, di ba? Synonym kasi magkapareho or similar meaning pag antonym ay different meaning. So, kailangan natin yon. Inenegate ang hypothesis and conclusion. Kadalasan nilalagyan lang natin ng word na not. Pero minsan kasi meron tayong mas uh, appropriate na term. Like friendly. Ano ba ang kabaligtaran ng friendly? So unfriendly, di ba? Yun po, magdadagdag tayo ng mga ganun. And then, for the contrapositive again, negate the interchange hypothesis and conclusion. Pinagpalit na, naglagay pa tayo ng not. So, ito siya sa symbol class. Ayan, yung parang um, medyo wavy na ganyan. Yan, yan po yung nat natin sa symbol. Okay, so let's have some of the examples. Meron lang akong limang examples. So, please lang po magtanong na agad kung nalilito or um, sabihin agad kung saan banda sila nahihirapan. Ano po, para pag nag-learning task na tayo ay malino na sa inyo kung paano nga ba. Pero siguro, ah, bago naman tayo mag-learning test, meron pa tayong isang activity para for your practice, okay? So, if the triangle is equilateral, then it is equiangular. For the hypothesis, ito po yung kasunod ng word na if, ayan. So, the triangle is equilateral and then yung atin pong conclusion, it is equiangular. Pero kung um, pagbabasihan po natin is yung term lang na nagsasabi na ito yung hypothesis, Ang term na yun ay yung equilateral at equiangular. Ano po? Sila yung magkaiba doon. So, for the converse, pagpapalitin lang natin si equilateral at si equiangular. So, magiging if the triangle is equiangular, then it is equilateral. So, again, pinagpalit na po ang hypothesis at ang conclusion. Equiangular from the hy uh, from the conclusion naging hypothesis and then equilateral siya naman po yung naging conclusion. So that's the converse. Pag pinagpalit ang hypothesis and conclusion. For the inverse. Inverse, walang pagpapalitin pero lalagyan lang po ng not. So, ito pa rin siya. If the triangle, lalagyan lang ng not, equilateral, then it is not equiangular. Again, if the triangle is not equilateral, so same pa din, then it is not equiangular. So, walang pinagpalit, naglagay lang tayo ng not. Ayan. So, nakikita sana ang pagkakaiba. Ano po? Una sa converse, Pinagpalit po ang hypothesis at conclusion sa inverse. Walang pinagpalit pero naglagay po ng word na not. Or in-negate natin. Opposite of that term. Then for the contrapositive, pwede pong ang kunin natin ay itong converse, lalagyan lang natin ng not. Para mas madali. Converse, lagyan mo lang ng not. So if the triangle is not equiangular, ayan, then it is not equilateral. Ayan. So, yan ang converse, inverse, and contrapositive of our conditional statement given. May tanong po? Wala po. Okay, wala daw po. Sabi ni Clark, how about the others? <clears throat> wala din, sorry oh. Okay, so ulit po ha, tandaan, converse, nagpalit ang hypothesis conclusion, inverse, walang pinagpalit pero naglagay ng not. Sa contrapositive, pwedeng kunin nyo yung, uh, yung converse and then lalagyan nyo lang siya ng word na not. Ayan, ito din siya, nilagyan lang ng not. Okay, next example. So, if an angle measures more than 90 degrees, then it is obtuse. So, kung uh, titignan natin, ang close po for the hypothesis ay ang an angle measures more than 90 degrees. Then, for the hypothesis, uh, for the conclusion, it is obtuse. 
So what will be the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of this conditional statement? Sige po, pag-isipan nyo po muna ng mabuti. Ayan. Excuse me po. Yes, Mr. Clark Kenneth, may sagot ka na sa converse. You can try po. Pipan angle. Wait lang po. <laughs> Sige lang po. Tama po yun, if an angle. So, kumbaga, ang pagpapalitin lang natin is ito, measures more than 90 degrees, tsaka yung word na obtuse. Kasi yun naman po yung ating pinag-uusapan dito sa ating um, if-then statement. Sige po, if you can try. If is obtuse, yes, then it is more than, then it, it is more than 90 po. Okay, so pwede po yun. Ayan, it is more than 90 degrees or yung is natin, papalta natin ng word na measures. Alisin na natin yung um, is dito sa ating conclusion gagawin nating measures more than 90 degrees. So, ito siya. If an angle is obtuse, kumbaga, isinama na natin yung is, is dun sa obtuse, yung ating conclusion, then it, ito na siya, measures more than 90 degrees. So, pa, tama naman po. Pwede naman po yung sinabi mo. Ba, ang importante po doon, nakita natin na pinagpalit po yung nag-interchange tayo ng hypothesis at ng conclusion. Now for the inverse, ano po ang magiging inverse natin? So ito pa din siya, maglalagay lang tayo ng word na not. So if an angle, o kaya kasi class hindi po pala palaging um, not lang ha, kasi kailangan din nating ayusin yung sentence construction kasi tingnan niyo po pag nilagay natin diyan if an angle not more ah, if an angle measures not more than 90 degrees, pwede po 'yon. Pero pwede rin nang um, if an angle does not measure more than 90 degrees, pwede din po 'yon. So hangga't mas maayos yung ating sentence construction, okay po 'yon. Okay? So ito yung ating um, magiging inverse dito, but still kung meron kayong another term, basta ang importante po na negate. Okay? And then, pwedeng palitan yung more than ng less than, di ba? Kasi yun yung kabaligtaran ng more than. And then, ang atin pong it is obtuse, lalagyan natin ng not. So, it is not obtuse. Or if an angle um, measures less than 90 degrees, then it is not obtuse. Pwede rin po yun. Kabaligtaran ng more than ay less than. Pero pwede rin pong ganito. If an angle does not measure more than 90 degrees, then it is not obtuse. So, walang nag-interchange, naglagay lang tayo ng negative or nag, um, pinaltan lang natin ng uh, not or naglagay lang tayo ng not doon sa ating statement. Then, for the contrapositive, pwede po naman ding inverse, pagpapalitin mo lang or dito ka na sa converse, lalagyan mo lang ng negative nila. So, if an angle is obtuse, magiging if, if an, an angle is not obtuse. Okay, tama po. And then, then it Ito yon. it does not measure more than 90 degrees or then it measures less than 90 degrees. Pwede po yun. Ayan. So, yun yung ating converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the given if-then statement or conditional statement. Converse, nag-interchange. Inverse, walang interchange pero may not or kabaligtaran. Does not or pwedeng less than. And then, ayan po, not of juice. Sa contrapositive, converse siya na may negative. So, if the angle is not of juice, then it does not measure more than 90 degrees. Huwag kayong magtataka kung um, uh, yung iba is does not measure ang sinabi or does not, uh, hindi does not ang nilagay, kundi less than. Okay lang po yun. As long as negative siya or opposite siya nung ating um, original statement. So, this is for our example number two. Example number three, if a number is a perfect square, then it is not, ah, it is positive. 
if a number is a perfect square, then it is positive. So what will be the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of this example? Bago yung converse, inverse, and contrapositive, kailangan ay alam muna natin ang ating hypothesis and conclusion, right? So, ang pinag-uusapan sa hypothesis ay ang perfect square. Ano, num number na perfect square. Then, ang ating conclusion ay? It is positive. Okay, tama po. It is positive. So, kumbaga, ang pwede natin kuhanin dito sa ating hypothesis is itong um, group of words na to is a perfect square and then dito yung ating words na is positive. So, pagpapalitin natin yon is a perfect square at is positive. Anong mabubuong converse? Yes, princess, nakataas pa ang kamay. <laughs> you want to answer? You can try to answer this. Ayan. Manlapas. Angelica. If a number is positive, then it's a perfect square. Okay. So, tama naman po. Opo. Correct po. Nawala lang yung word na it, pero pwede na rin. Ayan. So, is positive, then it is a perfect square. So, that's correct po. How about the inverse? So, ito pa rin siya, mag insert lang tayo ng word na not. O kaya, ano ba ang kabaligtaran ng word na positive? Negative po. Opo, pwede po yun. So, anyone who wants to try the inverse? Angelo. If a number is not positive. Oh, um, nasa contrapositive ka na agad. Um, inverse pa lang tayo. Hindi mo pa sila pagpapalitin, pero maglalagay ka lang ng not. Or yung kanyang antonym or negative nung term. So, ito pa din siya. If a number is... Okay, sige Clark, ikaw po. If a number is not a perfect square, then it is negative pa. Okay, tama po. So, tama po yun. If a number is not perfect square, then it is negative or it is not positive. So, may mga tendency na yun yung sasabihin, not positive, pero pwede po yung word na negative. Okay? Ayan. So, parang sleepy and then awake. Pretty and then ugly. Ayan, may mga ganyan po. Kasi halip na not pretty, gawin na nating ugly. Ano po? So, ganun din dito. It is positive kapag kinuha ang kanyang antonym, eh di negative. Ayan po. So, pwede po yun. Ito lang ang nakalagay dito sa PowerPoint ko. Next po, contrapositive. Who wants to try? So, converse siya na gagawin lang pong negative yung ating hypothesis at conclusion. Nulud, you want to try? John Clark? How about you, Mr. Sario? If a number is not a negative, then it is not a perfect square. Correct po. Tama po. So, if a number is not positive or if a number is negative, then it is not a perfect square. So, tama po. Ayan, medyo marunong na ano po. Kaya lang pag yan nagkasama-sama na naku, malilito na naman. Ano po? Next po. If an animal is a cat, then it has four paws. If an animal is a cat, then it has four paws. So what will be the converse? Ay, hypothesis and conclusion po pala muna tayo. So ang hypothesis is an animal is a cat. So pwede natin kunin yung is a cat. Then, it has four posts. So, yun yung ating, it has four posts, yung ating magiging um, conclusion. And, ang pwede natin kunin is itong has four posts. So, dito sa hypothesis is a cat. Then, dito has four posts. So, what will be the converse? Yes, Clark Kenneth? If an animal has four posts, 
it is a cat. Okay, tama po. If an animal has four paws, then it is a cat. Ayan. So, correct po. And then, next po natin, inverse. Ito pa din siya. Lalagyan lang natin ng negative. Lalagyan natin ng not. O kaya ito, syempre, parang kailangan natin na i-construct ng maayos kasi parang it has not. Parang ang pangit naman ng it has not four paws. So, kailangan po natin paltan yung ating word or magdagdag tayo ng word para lang maging negative siya. So, for our inverse, if an animal is magiging... Then okay. Then... Then it was... No. Not... No. I, no. Or what? It has no four paws. Okay, pwede naman. Kaya lang, <clears throat> pwede pong paltan yung has ng does not have or doesn't have. So, if an animal is not a cat, then it doesn't have four paws. So, pwede pong paltan yun. Basta mas maayos lang sana yung pagkakagawa ng sentence construction. Yan. So, tama po. And then, for the contrapositive, again, pwede pong gamitin ng inverse. Pagpapalitin mo lang sila. Or, pwede pong converse. Um, lalagyan mo lang ng negatives. So, what will be the answer for this one? Contrapositive po. So, pwede siyang if an animal ito, doesn't have four paws, then it is not a cat. Ayan. Okay, so para naman po, for example, hindi kayo malito kapag given na yung statement, kasi parang kaya natin, kaya na natin i-construct, di po ba? Kahit pa paano makakapag-construct na tayo, kahit medyo English, barok pa minsan-minsan. Um, paano naman kung given na yung statement, tayo yung mag-identify kung converse, inverse, or contrapositive siya? Medyo tricky po yun kapag given na yung statement and then tayo yung magagawa or tayo yung magsasabi kung converse, inverse, and contrapositive siya. Paano natin mapapadali? Again, hanapin po maigi natin kung alin ang hypothesis at ang conclusion. Pag nahanap natin yon gamitan nyo po ng ating symbol. Yan. Mas maganda, kaya po ibinigay yung symbol para um, kapag given na yung statement, alam nyo po kung saan siya magpo-fall. So, alam natin na ito ay yung P- And then this one is yung Q. Pag dinig na natin tong statement, if an animal has four paws, so ito yung ating four paws, Q siya kanina, ayan, Q. And then it is a cat. So nakita naman natin yung is a cat ay nandito sa P. So makikita agad natin na Q implies P siya. At pag Q implies P, converse po yun. What I mean to say, kapag given ang statement, gamitan natin ng variable or ng symbol para mas madali nating malaman kung converse ba siya, inverse, or contrapositive. So, yun po yung reminders ko. Gamitan ng symbol para mas madali siyang ma-identify kung converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Kagaya nito, is, is not a cut. So, ito naman kanina ay P, tapos nalagyan siya ng not. So, ito yung symbol niya. Yung ganyan. And then, implies niya, meron na tayong doesn't, so yun ay negative. And then, yung four pos, alam natin na Q siya kanina. And kapag negative of P implies negative of Q, so inverse po yun. Kaya, again, mas maganda kung gagamitan natin ng symbol. Okay? Um, nasa pang ilang example na ba ako? If a volcano is active, then it will erupt. If a volcano is active, then it will erupt. So, the hypothesis is volcano is active or yung word na is active, then dun sa ating conclusion, it will erupt or yung word natin na will erupt. So, ano po yung magiging hypothesis and, ah, hypothesis, ano po yung magiging converse natin? If a volcano will erupt, then it is active. Okay, tama po. Will erupt and it is active. 
Yung iba, pwede sabihin, if a volcano is erupting, then it is active. Pwede po yun. Nawala yung will. Kung baga, um, present tense yung ginamit niyang verb. So, no problem po. Basta nandun yung word na erupt sa ating hypothesis. And then yung active, nandun sa conclusion. Next, inverse. So, ito pa din siya. Ito pa din siya. Lalagyan lang ng not. Yes, Miss Angelica. If a volcano is not active, then it will not erupt. Correct po. Tama po yun. Not active and will not erupt. Now, for the contrapositive. So, pwedeng ito na po kung nalilito tayo. Ito yung tingnan natin. Inverse, pagpapalitin lang. Or pwedeng converse, nalagyan lang ng not. Ah, sige po, um, you try it, Clark Kenneth. If a volcano will not erupt, then it is inactive. Okay, tama po, inactive. Another word yan for not active, that's correct. So, will not erupt and then it is inactive or not active. Yan, 